and welcome back to another video feature of the Immersive Worlds Handbook. As we gaze upon these innovative petroglyphs, you might be surprised to discover that we're actually inside the exit area of a famous dark ride. Specifically, we're looking at Radiator Springs Racers, part of the Cars theme land at Disney's California Adventure. I want to use this opportunity to not only look at these innovative design elements like these petroglyphs, but also to talk about characteristics that make a ride like this one indeed a truly great ride. Talking about the queue area, using multiple elements such as speed within your dark ride, utilizing the dark and the light, the indoor and the outdoor, appealing to story, and these last ones I consider bonuses that aren't truly needed but are present. The thrill of the ride, side-by-side -side racing, and thematic or spatial integration. And let's then take a moment to talk about this last area, what I would call thematic or spatial integration. And specifically, I'm referring to the idea here that the ride is not an entity in and of itself. As you can see from some video I shot during my visit to the park and the theme land, this ride very effectively attaches itself to the theme land here that you see, Radiator Springs. And I think what's effective about the entirety of the theme land is that there are clear and sharp connections between all of the elements within the theme land. We can talk about an additional aspect here, common to a dark ride, of course, using the dark and the light. In this case, it's also using the indoors and the outdoors as people speed in between the various spaces of the ride and get this incredible sense of contrast of dark and light. Now additionally, we may talk about the idea of a ride being thrilling, as we might expect on a roller coaster, but in this case it's a bit more of a surprise because a dark ride necessarily is not always associated with those kind of, kinds of bodily and kinetic thrills. I would also say that a great dark ride has an innovative queue area that ties in with the story of the overarching ride itself. And actually, this is an image from Epcot's test track, and you may know that Radiator Springs Racers is actually based on the ride technology, the slot by slot, slot by slot car design of Epcot's test track. And actually, in this case, I think the ride fails just a bit in that the queuing area really doesn't develop those story or narrative elements that I found were so impressive at Epcot's test track, which for me is one of the great dark rides anywhere. Another element, of course, is to talk about the appeal to a story. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, another Disney ride, of course, has a very good appeal to story, and I feel that Radiator Springs Racers, as it draws on the mythology and the characters and the stories from the animated feature Cars, effectively uses appeal to story. You should also have multiple elements within the space of the ride. And in this case, I'm showing you side by side of another Disney ride that is less effective, Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, which you find at Disneyland Park. And in the case of that ride, there isn't much variation. In fact, you zip around and it's constant flashing and, and uh, very uh, monotonous in some ways. What I think is effective about the ride on the right which is the Radiator Springs Racers, is that there is an element of speed used. You slow down, you speed up, and that itself, as a device not only of space but of story, can be very effective in creating immersive and themed experiences for the guest. So many kudos to Disney for this element, this variety of elements that they utilize here in this part of the ride. And as you can see, we're just ending the indoor section of the ride. And a bit of a bonus element is coming up, which I mentioned earlier. This idea of the side-by-side -side racer. I think this makes this ride truly unique. And in talking to some of my research colleagues while we were riding this ride on a number of occasions during our visit, we found that this element of competition, the race, all in fun, was something that made the ride truly unique. And again, just like Epcot's test track, this ride takes advantage of that contrast between the indoor and the outdoor, the contrast of speeds going slowly inside and much more quickly outside, 
as a way to connect with the guest because the guest is being told things or being given different experiences in such a way that he or she doesn't have the opportunity to stop and ponder and potentially be bored while riding the ride. And as you can see here, as we end the journey, coming back into the station, another element which I didn't mention is an appeal to incredible design. And I think given Disney's Imagineering enterprise, its capital and its ability to do uh, incredible design allows a ride like this to truly be outstanding and to make the kinds of connections with the guests that only a great dark ride can do. So we end here again on these innovative petroglyphs inside Radiator Springs Racers. I hope you enjoyed this video feature and that you might come back for additional video features on rides, on Disney attractions, and on spaces that are themed and immersive from around the world.